Hey everybody, Omar here, the Knife Shark Guy, and I'm back with another knife showing for you. Uh, this knife is very special as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it is a one-of-a-kind handmade piece. This is also custom number 18 for me, and my last custom for a while. I'm going to try and not buy any knives until... Uh, <laughs> Uh, until after the New Year's, probably. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and bring it out. This knife is made by Andre Van Heerden, and you're going to see this guy right now. So this piece is very different than a lot of the knives that are in my collection. Most of the knives that I actually own in my collection, they're all titanium or all titanium-looking uh, there, you know, with, um, other material overlapping it to give it a full, uh, complete, almost, uh, integrated, complete look. This knife, in my opinion, is a little bit different. It's a wood design kind of knife. Uh, I don't see too many of those, uh, you know, in custom knife making. I I'm not sure... You know, it's just it's just something that I don't see too often, and I go to the Blade Gallery quite a bit. That's pretty much the center of the uh, knife-making world, that little store that they have uh, down there in Kirkland, Washington. There are a lot of knives out there, and, and don't get me wrong, a lot of the knives look different, but this one really stood out to me, and I had to get this piece. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So this knife... <laughs> Uh, is called the M44 Righteous Center Frame with Carbon Fiber and Snake Wood. That's what the knife is called. The knife is designed by Andre Van Heerden, and he did work with a French designer. Uh, that gentleman's name is Tashi Barucha, and he is a French knife designer. The two of them got together, and they made this fantastic piece. Uh, it's just a beautiful knife. I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at it. I mean, look at that. It is absolutely gorgeous. Let's just take a look at the, the, the knife overall. So the knife has got snake wood in it which would be this material here. It's the entire slab. It's not an integral knife, but it's a whole slab on both sides of this snake wood material. And then to top it all off, they inlay it with this black carbon fiber, uh, which makes it look like that, that bike reflective look on it. Really, really unique. And here's something that's kind of puzzling to me. On the pivot, they, there's um, that same carbon fiber all the way around the pivot on both sides of the knife. Really unique. I don't even know how they did that because this is all one piece. You know, this it's not like, I don't know, I just don't know how he did that, but it's all one piece. Uh, I, you know, I'm, I can't say that this outline of the carbon fiber was laid on top of it. I don't think so. I talked to the blade gallery and they said that it was all one piece, which co totally blew me away. Uh, the knife has gold to, or bronze titanium liners, another rare thing that you don't see. And another rare thing is, is it's got a uh, zirconium pocket clip rather than a titanium that you were used to seeing. You would probably assume that this would be titanium, but it's not zirconium. Uh, I thought it was a nice choice, actually. They could have gone maybe a gold titanium or a bronze titanium pocket clip, but they didn't. They want to do something special, something different with that zirconium on it. So it's just really... Beautiful, beautiful knife. There's Andre Van Heerden's uh, maker's mark right there from South Africa, Andre Van Heerden. The blade steel on this knife is CTSHXP. An excellent premium steel blade. 
There it is. You can see right on the knife. The knife runs on ceramic bearings, making the action ridiculous. I mean, it is ridiculous. This is probably one of the most fun knives ever to flip and close. I mean, I could do this crap all day long. I mean, it's ridiculous with that. So the knife does not come with a uh, certificate of authenticity. Most of his alone knives, as most of you guys know, Andre Van Heerden uh, mostly works with uh, Andre Thorburn creating those A2 knives uh, that he's so well known for now. Uh, but he does give you a blue pouch with his name all over it. Sometimes Andre will give you a black registered card, like a black a uh, card with the name of the knife on it, the number on it, and that would be that plastic black card, I guess whatever you would call it, would be the Certificate of on Authenticity. But he did not include it with this knife. Uh, I spoke with him on Instagram, and he admitted that sometimes he does not do a uh, Certificate of Authenticities. But this is what makes up for it, is his pouch, which I do love. It's, it's, a, it's a really nice pouch. Uh, you know, it's got the police in there, so... Perfect for housing the piece if you wanted to do that or carry it or whatever. So let's go ahead and get to the uh, specs. So the blade length on this knife. Uh, also wanted to remind everybody this knife is one of a kind handmade. You'll never see another one like it ever again. So the blade is 3.5 inches. The cutting length from this point here all the way up to the tip is 3.3 inches the total length of the knife from the tip all the way to the back of the knife uh 8.25 the blade height is 1.20 the blade thickness near the bolster which is right about here uh would be 0 0.17 inches and then at midpoint which is right about here uh that would be 0 0.15 and then the tip really thins out at 0 0.7. The whole knife weighs about 4.8 ounces. Really pretty. I mean, the curves on this thing are just fantastic. The ergos on it, by the way, very nice. Very nice ergos. I do love how it feels when you're holding it. The It feels really nice to flip. Uh, you could flip this knife to more than, you know, a couple of ways. I mean, you could, you could actually swipe it like most flippers are supposed to be done, or you could press it. It's also like, I guess you want to call it a push button flipper. You just, you know, sort of press it and then it pops open. That could be done as well. Um, just an overall great experience knife. The jimping on the knife up here is not hard or rough. It looks harder up, but when you actually get your thumb on there, on that thumb ramp. It feels really nice. It's not like so abrasive that it's going to cut your skin. So that's another good thing that they had uh, going on there. Uh, yeah, again, you know, the knife is made with ceramic bearings. Uh, they're doing that more and more often with custom knives, ceramic bearings rather than the, uh, the tool bearings. Andre Thorburn, for example, he uses ceramic bearings exclusively. So, yeah. Definitely helps with the action. What's great about ceramic bearings, as you guys know, is you don't have to oil them. They can run dry. So, and you produce the same uh, smoothness as if they had tool steel bearings in there, which you would probably have to oil after a, a while to produce that smooth effect that you're looking for. But uh, with ceramic bearings, you don't have to worry about that. So let's get to some size comparison so you guys can get an idea of what size this guy is. Uh, I'm going to put it up against the discontinued Spyderco Swish Bowie. There it is. How about up against the Sabenza 21? Another great piece I love. Always considered the Chris Reeve sort of like a breaking point between production and then getting into stuff like this, custom knives. This is like the in-between thing, Chris Reeve. Uh, 
Uh, did I do the ZT-0900 yet? I don't believe I This is the ZT-0900. Anodized and gold and blue. By TWS-777, so... So there it is up against the ZT-0900. Finally, the much larger in Kosi. So as you guys can see, this is a large knife. Uh... These guys are pretty much like neck and neck here. They're, yeah, lengthwise, right? It's kind of like neck and neck in size. So, there you go, Chris Reeve and Kosi. So, I mean, it's really great to see artistry like this uh, being done with a wood design. That's one of the reasons why I had to have it. The wood design thing really was a turn-on for me. I mean, it really caught my eye. And there are like a ton of knives down there at the Blade Gallery. Uh, and this is the one that caught my eye. Just because it was wood, it was beautiful. Uh, it was all sitting in the cabinet, just standing out amongst the other pieces in that cabinet. And they, they had some with like Damascus bolsters and Timascus bolsters and, you know, uh, beautiful... Uh, you know, Tamascus or carbon fiber backspacers. And this was the one that I, I decided to go with this time, just because it's really unique and really different. So, get another shot at it. That zirconium pocket clip is really nice. It's also very, very tight. I can't get my pants on that. Not that I even use pocket clips, but this thing... I mean, you would have a serious problem taking that out of you. I mean, I can't even lift it up without... I mean, it's just hard, but still, you know, it's a beautiful pocket clip. <laughs> really, I'm not going to knock it. I mean, so it's a little tight. What do I care? I'm sure if someone actually, if somebody else owned this knife, what would they care if it was a little tight? You know, so. No. The gold titanium liners are just a beautiful match. Uh, so the work of Andre Van Heerden and the designing skills of... Uh, Tashi Barucha really brings out fantastic artistry on both ends. You know, you got a South African guy and a French guy getting together to create a piece of uh, artwork slash tool, and you get something as beautiful as this. Just a fantastic representation of two people getting together to create a fantastic tool. I'm just going to say it. I love the blade shape on this. The ergos on it are really nice. Uh, really enjoy that swedge on the blade from there all the way to the end. Just adds another dimension to the whole piece. Um, I gotta be careful because this guy's as sharp as hell. So. so there you have it. The Andre Van Heerden... M44, righteous inner frame with carbon fiber, and Snakewood, uh, another original design by Andre Van Heerden. Uh, as I said, Andre Van Heerden usually works with uh, uh, Andre Thorburn on those A2 knives. I've only got one other Andre Van Heerden piece in my collection, and the reason why I got this knife was because the other Andre Van Heerden knife that I have... Uh, while it is a custom, it's more of a custom tool. In a sense that, I'm not saying it's not art, clearly it is, but as far as what's on the knife, uh, this has got two slabs of G10 on it, right? With blue titanium liners and that's it. You know, basically it is a tool, uh, if you were to hand someone this knife, they'd never even know it was a work of art. They would just go, hey, yeah, can I borrow your knife? And that would be that. That's what this knife looks like. It's just a tool, right? So I wanted to have a representation of Andre Van Heerden's skills as an artist. And I think that this knife pretty much represents that. So I have two total polar opposite type blades by Andre Van Heerden. That's another thing that I like to do in my collection. I like to have some contrast, you know, a little up, a little down, a little dark, a little light, you know, something that's 
very fancy and very elegant and something that's just a, a very well-made tool. Uh, everybody collects differently. This is how I collect. So I had to have another Andre knife in my collection. It was absolutely necessary uh, because I don't really feel this, you know, this may represent his skills as a knife maker, but this, I think, more represents his um, skills as a knife artist in general and creating a, a beautiful artwork tool. And, uh, you know, in case you guys wanted to get into Andre Van Heerden, you know, I just wanted to show you what possibilities the guy can do because, you know, he's very well, he's, he's, he's very well known for making, uh, impeccable knives, impeccable knives. And, uh, his, um, collaboration with uh, Tashi, the French designer Tashi Barucha. Uh, it's a whole other ball game for him. So here you have it. The M44 Righteous Interframe with carbon fiber and snake wood. Another beautiful piece. Uh, if you guys are interested, you can go ahead and go down to the Blade Gallery right now. Like I said, this knife, not the knife design, not the knife design, the knife itself is a one-of-a-kind handmade piece. The hand design, uh, the, the design of the knife, he actually has available in two other styles down at the Blade Gallery, if you guys are interested. This knife does go for 1045 so you're going to want to shell out the, you know, make sure you guys going to shell out the, uh, the cash for this piece, because I'm telling you, to get a hold of this in your hand is definitely worth the money. I don't, I don't regret buying this knife. It's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. But the other two knives that he has down, that they have down there at the Blade Gallery, it looks just like this one. Uh, the first one I saw was one that I almost got instead of the Snakewood piece. Uh, it looks like uh, a Starry Night painting by Vincent Van Gogh. Uh, but it's not. It looks like it, but it's not. And the other one uh, actually looks just like this knife. Uh, I'm not sure if it's got the black carbon fiber on it. It might. I don't know. I didn't get a good, good close enough look at it. But it does, instead of snake wood, it has uh, Ambonia wood burl. If you guys aren't familiar with Ambonia wood burl, uh, it looks like this. You know, this color. So imagine this exact material in place of the snake wood, and you get another different one-of-a-kind handmade piece. So, Yeah, if you guys are interested, go down to the Blade Gallery, check those two pieces out. Uh, those are the only two Andre knives that, that are like this that he has. I don't know if he's going to make any more. Uh, right now, he is focusing more on his A2 designs with Andre Van here. Uh, Andre Thorburn, sorry. So there you have it, the M44 Righteous in a frame with carbon fiber and snake wood. I just wanted to share it with you. I do love this piece. This is my 18th custom. God, those bronze titanium liners are just beautiful. I love that look on oh, that. Really pretty. So, yeah, again, this is Omar the Knife Shark Guy signing off, hoping you'll find this beautiful piece of sharp art or one like it in your collection and once again i will talk to you guys later when i have another knife uh in the meantime happy knife hunting all of you guys uh have a great evening